Hi uh, folks and modelers, I'm back again for another chapter and this will be part uh, part 3 for the uh, build on the USS Enterprise CVN 65 one 350 scale from Mini Hobby Models So, uh, today I will cover 4, four areas uh, Hangar Bay, the uh, LED on the island and uh, carving tools and the uh, hanger bay decals. So let me just uh, quickly run through with you what I have been doing. So this, uh, what you are looking at is the uh, the I've put up all these uh, plastic cards, and the things you see here are mainly just like ribs to support these uh, two plates over here which the uh, the hanger bay deck will be sitting on here so i'm using i'm using a one millimeter uh, plastic cut and the thing is on these uh, door on the door wells uh, it is not exactly uh, at one millimeter it's slightly less so actually at the bottom here I'm not sure if you can see there is another uh, thinner plastic card over there I think it's about 0.3 so by adding that uh, there is about a one millimeter so when I add the uh, the, the floor decks it will sit flush with these uh, doorway areas so um, let me just show you the uh, so these are the the floor decks it's a cut out plastic cuts and I did put these uh, these iPads iPods or iPads so I have uh, let me just show you so this this will be the at the back here and i have to use three pieces because uh, these plastic cards are in certain size and you can you can't have the entire you know in one piece and i have another piece here so this will all fit in like that okay so this will be the floors and so now I, I think if if I just touch it it is sort of uh, sitting flush with these doorways but of course there could be slight uh, you know there might be some it's you know a little bit of uh, but but I won't be able to to get a perfect uh, level over here but I would just uh, yeah leave it like that and then uh, this card was a little bit short so instead of doing redoing another one I'll just cut some pieces and you know put it here and then I have also cut up these uh, these cards, and these are all gonna be the walls for the. It's it will sit like this, and I have not cut them to the sizes yet, so I will have to cut them out to escape the door well. I've just. Uh, Cut out these and these for these to be sitting flush up here so this is about 24 millimeters uh, wide so they, it will sit actually like that and I want it to sit flush with here because I'll be putting the the overhang the the ceiling so these cards will be all sitting, you know, the 
even even for the front and the back area so for this size i hope it's is roughly correct i've been referring to a lot of the drawings uh, that was uh, provided uh, he was kind enough to provide the drawings to me and uh, I think in the last video you can see quite a lot of exchange in the uh, notes the comments and uh, uh, his name is Michael Kavanaugh I, I, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly so yeah he did provide me a lot of uh, photos uh, drawings, even the, some cat drawings. So it, it has been really helpful. So thank you, Michael, for sharing the, uh, the files with me. So I'll try to do my best to, to follow that. And so after this, all these walls will have to be uh, detailed up. And I will show you on my computer screen now. So these are the, the drawings that uh, Mr. Michael has been sharing with me. So it, it, is, it is really detailed. Um, I, I don't know if I can, you know, do to such a detail level. So, but I will try to follow, you know, as much as possible. And there are also these uh, other drawings, like this is the overhang. So this is again, seriously, very, very detailed. And uh, I don't know if I can do all this, but I will try to make it as detailed as possible. But of course, some areas have to be simplified because, uh, you know, at this scale, I don't think I can depict all the actual details on the real ship so there are a lot of uh, these kind of you know uh, even these uh, step lines a lot of information there so I think this I hope this will really guide me through the the build on the hangar bay and uh, for the overhang I do have some uh, I have a plan and the plan is actually okay basically the 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 top deck will sit uh, on this surface here so there is a clearance here of about four millimeter i have checked this uh it's, it is about four millimeter of this clearance area so i was thinking of uh, doing uh, I did do. I did make a sketch here. Not sure if this is a is a good good sketch. So this is a view from the from the from the front uh, from the bow. So these are the door door wells, and that's the top deck there. So the clearance here to the door well is uh, four millimeter. But there is, I found out there is a problem, which is, uh, which are these, these things here. So this, uh, this thing will be sitting like this. And when this thing is attached, the clearance uh, underneath here, there is only about one millimeter of uh, clearance. So, um, I will only be able to put one piece of card in between here if I were to, to use this. And I've tried, uh, there is one option which is uh, not to use this at all. And basically this, this entire hull it does twist a little bit, but even with these things, it's about the same. So I'm not sure if this is uh, really functioning. But anyway, um, there is one way I can do with this, which is uh, I'm gonna be, you know, of course drilling out all the holes for the LED light. So I will put the LED light 
and to actually hold the LED light I can do it in sections like here here escaping the uh, these uh, steel sheets here so I think that will be a bit challenging um, so let's see what how, how it turns out after I have uh, cut out the, the the overhang plates then try to fit them in between this door well and this so that's uh, on the hanger bay uh, things that I have done so okay let's move over to maybe I'll just uh, let's move over to my table here and uh, next I will talk about the the island so I've been doing a lot of uh, things how to figure out how to light this thing up nicely. So what I have done is uh, I've I have uh, wait these holes were no I have cut out these holes here. So on the LED light here, I have done this. Uh, so we. I have actually wrapped up these LEDs uh, closely. If, if I wrap it up like this, it's not gonna... The LED is not gonna be on all four sides. So I have... Uh, what I've done is I've actually like folded them like this to, to make it... Uh, make the LEDs uh, become closer like that. And then I've just taped them up with a clear tape. So I have three uh, LED here. So let me just uh, light this up. Uh, and I'm gonna switch off this, I'm gonna move this light up so that. So uh, the way I'm gonna do it is this is gonna be sitting in the, in the hull side. So once I have completed the entire island, I will just uh, like, you know, slide it in. And earlier I did say I was gonna tape up the LEDs on the floor here, you know, underneath the floor. But if I do that, this LED strip will be sticking to the island and I will have to build the entire island with the LED strip sticking to it. And these LED lights will will be on the will be inside the hangar bay at that time. So there's no way I'm gonna be building this, attaching all these tiny photo edge with the strip light attached and attached to the, the main hull which is so huge that I won't be able to work with this. So the, the best idea is of course this have to be worked out separately, have to be built separately. So once that is done, this is going to be in the hull. So I'm just going to stick this in like this. So it does have, a, I think, quite an okay glow kind, you know, glow to it. And uh, so let me show you how I have uh, done this island. So for this piece here, so this is for the, the upper level. I have uh, I've cut out these plastics here. I have cut it out and I've stick a, a very thin. This is a zero point three plastic cuts. So the LEDs are actually it does shine through this piece. So this piece cannot be painted. And back here, I made a mistake. Actually, this is for the, you know, this is actually an open area here because uh, if I touch this top piece here, I think the design of this island is, uh, these are in internal, but over here is an open area. So I, I cut out here accidentally, so, <clears throat> I have uh, stick back these plates to close it and here I will have to paint it so that the light doesn't uh, seep out from here 
and so that's the top piece there and for the inside for this piece <clears throat> I have uh, cut out a lot of all these uh, sides four sides and <clears throat> stick these 0 0.3 uh, white color plastic cards so the glow will be you know there like that so I think I think this will work it's not gonna be too bright too shiny uh, it these cards actually <clears throat> diffuses the LED lights a lot and okay the things that you see here initially I did drill holes here because I, I was intending to plant the LED on the floor and I wanted the light to go through to the upper level but that didn't work well so I've uh, filled up back these uh, holes there so I think this will be good enough for the the, the island um, yeah and of course for these windows here I intend to put another plastic card and I, I found this uh, cheap uh, like folder so this has this kind of uh, you know this is clear and this is green so I can stick these uh, here cut it out and stick it and uh, it will diffuse the light probably even more with these uh, cards of course it will be it will have to be stick from the inside so I think yeah this this probably will work you know um, but another challenging thing is uh, the Edwards photo wedge. I'll have to cut out all these plastic, uh, the window panes, and it's gonna be all photo wedge. So that is uh, very scary. Um, I don't know if I can even do that. So these plastics will all be gone. So this is what I have uh, done for, you know, figuring out the LED light for the island. So I hope this will work later. I don't want any hiccups to happen. And uh, okay, so let me just move on to my next thing that I wanted to cover, which is, uh, I think I did tell you that I was trying to scrape all these uh, ejector pin marks off and it was really difficult to do it with the tool that I had which was uh, which is this tool this is a Tamiya tool because the tip is just too small so what I did is I bought a cheap uh, set of carving tools uh, Chinese carving tools but these are pretty good um, they have a, a carbon steel tip uh, pretty sharp so with by using this I, I could scrape out all the um, the ejector pin so if you compare this this has been scraped out and this has not so you know you can just uh, there, there are few sizes angles for this kind of for this carving tool so I can just carve it out nicely like that just by doing this kind of uh, things here and I needed a flat piece and the Tamiya one was a bit uh, angled so it was really difficult to I was getting only the, the tip to the to the this floor area so anyway now that I have this uh, this will be good to scrape out all these kind of things so you might want to have a, a good carving tool set to carve all these things out yeah. so that's how I, I do it you know 
So that is another thing. And okay, the last thing that I wanted to talk about is the uh, I, I I came up with an idea. So I found these uh, interior um, interior uh, hanger bay decals. So okay, these are pretty expensive. I think it's twenty thirty. US dollars so I don't plan to buy this so what I'm gonna do is I will I found some uh, uh, de decal papers uh, pretty cheap so I will try to print this out on the decal paper but the trick the difficult thing will be to size this uh, to the exact scale at one three hundred and fifty scale, so I will have to do a lot of trial and error, print it on the paper to see if the size will be nice, uh, just nice for the interior hanger bay. And once I get that, I will print it on the decal paper, and I can probably the resolution will not be good. I I just have the inkjet printer, and I don't have a laser printer. But I think uh, for internal hanger bay, even even the resolution is not so good. It probably you know it will still show something. So, but anyway, I need to try all these things. Uh, I have not received the, the the water slide decal papers, so I'm gonna do a lot of uh, testings and you know, this is probably this is actually just to save save some money. You know not to buy these but for the deck decals uh, I bought yes I did buy it because uh, the deck will be very visible instead of the hanger bay so I think these are the four things I wanted to cover for this round um, I hope that was a good detail for you so yeah so if you know if you're doing this kit uh you can you know you, you can probably try out those things that i have mentioned uh not i'm you know not everything that i'm doing is correct or what these are just some you know like my own ideas how i would do it uh things i find easy to do because like even for this deck, you don't have to cut these out like this. You can just have it uh, straight and have the door, uh, the wall sitting inside, but you will have to cut it at a different length. So it's all, it's all up to individual how you're going to be doing this, you know. And this is just uh, my way of doing it. So, okay, so I think uh, this is a wrap for this time. Uh, hope you like this video I uh, hope it's in informational and um, yeah I'll come back with another chapter soon probably by next week so until then uh, if you like this uh, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and uh, and happy modeling and cheers for now goodbye